now for the morning rush. A man with a long criminal history is in trouble again after police say he threatened employees on the rail runner. Dominic Lopez, who has a criminal history dating back to 2008, ran onto the train without a ticket, locked himself inside, and started threatening people on board. In this case, Lopez was let out on court supervision and is now on the run. There is a warrant out for his arrest. Albuquerque police are investigating a fatal hit and run crash in the North Valley. APD says the crash was reported around 730 last night near 4th Street and Guadalupe Trail Northwest. Police say a car hit a pedestrian then drove off. Crews tried life saving measures, but the pedestrian died on scene. And we are now learning more about an early morning officer involved shooting at an Albuquerque truck stop. Police Chief Harold Medina says just before 3 o'clock this morning, they received multiple calls reporting a man shooting at drivers near the Love's truck stop at 6th Street and I-40. Officers responded quickly and gunfire broke out. APD says 6th Street will be blocked until at least noon. Now they also say the entrances and exits to I-40 at 6 are all closed. And to check on our school day forecast, temperatures are chilly, so be sure to wear your warmer layers this morning. By this afternoon, we could see some sprinkles with a high of only 49. Now the man shot and injured at a protest of a Juan de Onate statue is now suing. Jacob Johns was shot at the protest in Española back in September. He's suing Ryan Martinez, who police say was the shooter, and his parents, claiming Martinez was illegally manufacturing gun parts and that his parents were aware of his actions. Martinez is currently facing charges, included attempted murder, and has pled not guilty. A bill aimed at overhauling the state's education system is moving forward. The Senate Rules Committee has approved a bill that would replace the Public Education Commission with a state school board. Ten board members would be elected to serve six-year terms, and five state officers would be appointed by the governor. If it makes it through the roundhouse's session, the bill would then go to voters. Intel has announced their new facility called Fab 9 in Rio Rancho. That's expected to create 700 permanent jobs. The facility will allow the company to create what's called advanced packaging technology, which will enhance advanced artificial intelligence for its PC and server products. The project is part of a $3.3 billion investment from 2021. And to check on our threat index, it is low to moderate today. We'll start to see those rain showers and some mountain snow in the four corners. The cities of Albuquerque and Santa Fe are working together to have a new Zozobra special shape balloon in the sky at this year's Balloon Fiesta. Albuquerque is spending at least $50,000 on the balloon, while Santa Fe is pitching in $125,000. Officials hope to have the balloon standing for the 100th Zozobra burning in August and then flying at Balloon Fiesta in October. Albuquerque Fire Rescue and the Albuquerque Police Department celebrated International Day of Education by reading stories to kids. At the Manzano Mesa Multi-Generational Center, AFR Chief Emily Harmijo read John Cena's children's book called Elbow Grease. Chief Harmijo says her own kids picked out the book and hopes the other children enjoy the story as much as her own. All right, a check on traffic. We are seeing a closure. Sixth Street is going to be blocked until at least noon due to police activity. The entrances and exits to I-40 at 6th are all closed. And here's a live look over the Big Eye where it is a busy morning out there. All right, well, the Chicago suburbs have a new landmark that's gaining big fame thanks to social media. Many are calling this sidewalk impression a rat hole, while others in Roscoe Village say it looks like a squirrel. Neighbors say it's been there for 20 years, but now a viral post has made it so popular there's even been a marriage proposal and a wedding at the spot. Time now for the five facts. At number five, all kids in Rio Rancho will soon be able to be a part of a baseball team no matter their ability. Sunset League is creating special needs baseball team, and so far they already have 12 players registered. The team will be divided into small groups, allowing volunteers to work closely with each of the kids. Practice for the team begins in March and they'll kick off their season in April. At number four, the town of Red River is looking to have a new celebration after last year's annual bike rally turned deadly. The Red River Memorial Day Motorcycle Rally held its last event last year after state police say a shootout erupted between two motorcycle gangs, the Banditos and the Water Dogs. 
Two people died in that shooting and the rally was permanently canceled. In response, this year the town is hosting a new event called Mayfest in the Mountains, a family-friendly affair with educational stations and local artists showcasing their work, a veterans memorial wall display, and no outside vendors. At number three, we're awaiting our next storm. This is a snapshot to 7 p.m. tonight when we'll be seeing isolated showers throughout central and northern New Mexico, including here in the metro. At number two, the man shot and injured at a protest of a Juan de Onate statue in Española is now suing the suspected shooter and the suspected shooter's parents. Jacob Johns claims Ryan Martinez was illegally manufacturing gun parts on a 3D printer and went to the protest that day intending to be violent. The lawsuit also claims his parents were aware Martinez was, quote, obsessed with firearms. Martinez is currently charged with attempted murder and other charges. He has pled not guilty to all charges. A trial date is scheduled for May. And at number one, a man with a long criminal history is in trouble again after police say he threatened employees on the rail runner. Lapel video shows the moments New Mexico State Police officers aboard the rail runner on November 19th in downtown Albuquerque, guns drawn. Police say Dominic Lopez, who has a criminal history dating back to 2008, ran onto the train without a ticket, locked himself inside, and started threatening people on board. An MSP cleared the train of all passengers and quickly took Lopez into custody. There's currently a warrant for Lopez's arrest because he failed to comply with his conditions of release.